Ladies and gentlemen, you know what time it is. <laughs> Can I just say that What, what, what do I need to say? I just can't fathom this. Is this the same studio? Is it? I, I need to make that clarification. Is this the same studio that did Bleach in the past? Because I don't know what they're doing. I just don't know. This is episode six of Bleach, Thousand Year Blood War, The Fire. And yes, this was fire. This was flames. Clear point. Now, obviously, anyone who's read the manga knows what happens at the end of this. Unfortunately. But, that doesn't excuse the fact that this freaking episode was animated a million degrees. Twelve, what was it? What did he say in the episode? His arm was like 12 million degrees Celsius? The temperature of the sun? That's what this was. That's what this animation was. It was on the same level as heat. From the sun. I don't know what they're doing. I just don't know. Maybe because of the final arc? And they're just like. This was animated like. <laughs> oh, God. I, I just can't fathom. And I should mention that I got God of War Ragnarok today, too. So I was like, what I was doing was, I was trying to load it up on the PS5, and I said, okay, let me stop. And watch. <laughs> this episode was insane. The animation. Those flames, I, I don't know what the hell they did with those. When Box, when, when Yamamoto started revealing the other parts of his of his bankai and the south bankai i was like okay okay it's like the same level animation that we had when Bayakuya was fighting asnot and he made those flies it it's obvious that parts of it is cgi but you look at it and you like to you say to yourself, that's CGI? Not bad. <laughs> Not bad. Now, obviously, I see on Facebook a few people are complaining about the pacing. Let me tell you something. This is four. Okay. This is gonna be fifty-two from as I remember, fifty-two episodes. Over 50 episodes. I think they can not worry about the pace. Okay? But this was. And I like the ending also. I like the touch of the manga kind of spiel. How they did that. This was complete flames. Another banger. And. I just can't fathom this. This is the same studio. Oh, maybe it's because, oh yeah, it's the final arc, so they're going balls to the walls. <laughs> now, um, obviously, the next episode's called Alone in the Dark. I think this one has to do with Ichigo. My memory of the manga isn't perfect, but I believe that's what next week's episode is going to be. But like I said before, the animation in this episode was insane. Animating Yamamoto's Bankai and what it was capable of doing 
was so amazing that I had to do a double take. I, I was like, what? <laughs> who, who are you? No, no, that's what my question now is. Who are you, Studio Periot? Who are you? Are you some unknown entity that came out of a black hole? Showed up and says, yeah, we're going to animate Bleach. Because this surely was not the same Studio Periot eons ago that were animating the full... I don't want to spring that up. Even even animating the freaking um, Karakura Town. The Battle with Aizen. Can't be that same Periot because you compare that animation to this, it's night and day. No. It's Animation for the Eisen fight is on Earth, and the animation for this this show is on the freaking sun. It is unbelievable. I am blown away. And where do we go from here? Like, like that, that, that's my question. Where do we go from here? Well, well Zoraki, you know... <laughs> All these fights that we're going to see and everything in between. If it's going to be animated like this, we're going to be saying to ourselves, okay, I think we can say, it hasn't finished yet, obviously we still got a long way to go. 50 episodes. But I think at least now, with the introduction of fire, the fire, and the battle between Yamamoto and the, you know. I can honestly say, I think we're going to get a good show here. I think Bleach is going to get justice. It's going to get just desserts. It's going to get what it wanted. Now, it all depends on Kubo. And all depends on Studio Imperial, how they continue this. Because obviously, the further we go in, we really need to, they need to, to examine the ending. They need to examine a lot of things. But so far, six episodes in, I'm just going to say it right now. This whole freaking show's a banger. 100%. Each episode has been a 10 out of 10. The music is great. The animation is great. <laughs> they, they, they've shown the characters off and shit and all that stuff. And it's just been straight 100%. I, I can't see this going any... The only way they can mess this up, in my opinion, is if they don't really explain things. Because as we go along, as anyone who's read the manga knows... Towards the end, things got confusing and didn't make sense with certain aspects regarding Bach and everything. But I'm not going to talk about that because this should be the anime only case. But this episode, I have no words. Yo, Mono's Bach was just wrecking shit. I was like, yo. Of course, we know what happens. That's not. <laughs> but still. To see it in action. To that extent. And how beautifully animated it was. I'm like. The further we go in. The further we go down the road of this arc. It's going to get. It's just going to go on top. It's going to just. It's going to continue to go higher and higher and higher. So this is Bonkai 922. Stay on the road, babies. Stay on this train. The bleach train, man. We're going all the way to the freaking top. Bonkai 922, I'll catch you guys later.